this episode of Leepu and Pitbull, the guys take on their first job, a beat-up 81 Camaro. Every creation starts with destruction. Leepu starts hammering things, he's grinding, sparks are flying. Choo, choo, choo. You have an idea of what you're going to make this into? They don't see it. They don't have the vision like me. This engine is 400 horsepower. Yeah! It's a monster. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We're having a little problem here. Whoa. Is that the car? There's nothing more American than a custom car. But today, custom means expensive. I'm Steve Pitbull. Mechanic by trade. My dream? Make one-of-a-kind cars, but make them affordable. Body work? I don't do body work. How? Meet Leepu. The hammer made the world. He's a car designer from Bangladesh I first saw online. He takes old junk scraps and builds unbelievable cars by hand. This is my paintbrush, and these are my sculpting tools. Nobody in America builds stuff like this. I'm a simple guy with a big dream to be the greatest car designer in America. So I brought him here to do things a little differently. and make both of our American dreams come true. Chevrolet Camaro rolls up to the shop. Yo, Leepu, Leepu, come up to the office. Check this out. Look what just pulled up on the lot. Look, 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 on the camera. Check this out. How you doing? How are you doing? Steve. Steve. Bob, nice to meet you. That's Leepu. Leepu, nice to meet you. You guys are guys doing the customization of cars? Yeah, that's what we do, man. So, what are you looking to do with the car? Well, this car is going to be for my son. We bought it together when he was 15 with the idea of fixing it up together for him. We never got around to doing it. He's in college. He's graduating soon. I really want to make this a surprise gift for him, and I want it to be something special. Here's a guy who's worked his ass off to put his son in college, which I think is cool because I have a son. So I totally get this. So tell me, what is the most important thing you want us to do to this car? Muscle cars, they have a sound. They need to look good, but they need to sound good too, okay? Plus, my son can't drive a stick, so I need it to be an automatic. Seriously? An automatic in a muscle car? Let's see what I'm working with here. For starters, fuel injection is in my mind because you want reliability. Today, here I am speaking to the customer, selling him the job. And there's Leepu dancing around the car, rubbing it, touching it, feeling it, massaging it. I'm looking for inspiration for my design. I have to feel the car to get my inspiration. This guy's looking at us. I was afraid he was going to take his keys, get this car, and drive off. Why don't we take this car for a ride? Let me see what I'm getting involved with. Then we'll sit down and work this whole thing out. Let's go for a ride, babe. Yo, you're killing me, man. I'm trying to sell a job, and you're not saying anything. This guy's losing faith. Pitbull's second car was a first-generation 1968 Camaro. And right out of high school, he worked on over 50 Camaros in the local body shop. You know, this used to be a badass car. Back in the 
the 60s when these cars came out, they were the bomb. 60s? 67 was the first year the Camaro. Oh, okay. And you know what? It has 115 horsepower. Holy! My lawnmower has more horsepower <laughs> than that. The Chevrolet Camaro was produced to compete with the 1964 Ford Mustang. And during its secret production, it was nicknamed the Panther. I want to light this thing up. I want to see what it's got. <laughs> I want to check out the zero to 60 time on this car. You got to watch? Yeah. All right. That's a nice, desolate, quiet spot. Let's, let's right. put the pedal to the metal. This quiet spot is a straight quarter mile of hardtop, ending at a brick wall and a pier. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in first gear. I'm looking at the speedometer. Oh, it's like slow motion, this car. Go, go, go. Second gear. Not even at 40 miles an hour yet. I've just hit the 60 miles an hour. Leepu's jumping up and down and screaming like a little girl. Ah! Come on, man! One of the wheels, thank God, locked up. Do the car sideways. And I come to a halt just before the pier ended. Come, come on! How'd we do? What was the time like? It's 2013. 13, a Camaro, something calling itself a Camaro for 13 seconds? That's an embarrassment to me and every American that there is. Horrible, horrible. This, this car is... I am going to quadruple the horsepower on this. Okay. You better make sure the metal you put on this car stays on. You want to with it? Bam. Pitbull has his mechanical game plan, but Lee Poo can't start the bodywork until he gets his inspiration. What are you thinking about the body? Uh, I don't know yet, man. I don't know. I don't know. Inspiration? You cannot buy it. You cannot come off the shelf. It's like a lightning strikes, so you have to be patient. Come on, man. What do you want to do to this car? We need to come back with some. Come on, man. I can't tell you anything right now. I mean, I have to have the inspiration first. It takes time. With or without inspiration. All right, here's the fun part. The guys need to seal the deal. Well, what are we looking at? You give me this car and the go ahead on it, I can do it for 20 grand. It's a little steep. I'm thinking more like 15. You haven't told me what you're even gonna do to it yet. Uh, what, what's he gonna do? We haven't come up with an idea yet. He's a craftsman, believe me. I'll, I'll show you pictures. Look at this. These are cars he has built. Yes. Look I mean, it. look at this thing. Look at that. You see, and he's, he's got good pictures, but I'm trusting you done. with my car. You know what I can do? I give him a guarantee. I will do this car 20 grand, and if you don't like what it looks like, not only will I hand you 20 grand back, I'll give you what you paid for the car. With a guarantee like that, I'll roll the dice. Done. Done. But here's that. the kicker. He's going to be back from school in three weeks. Three weeks? The average custom car takes anything from three to eight months to build. Uh, Leepu's previous fastest record is five weeks. That's a kick in the pants, but you know what? It is doable. Steve would say anything to get a deal, but three weeks, it's not enough. Done deal, you just got yourself a new car. It's time to show Leepu and Pitbull's team of mechanics and fabricators what they're up against. All right, here it is, boys and girls. Hey! 1981 Camaro. 
carries the badge of a muscle car but has no muscle. So what we gotta do is take this car, get it on a lift, break it down, don't and I gotta break it down. Don't don't touch the body. Mechanically. Yeah, not, yeah mechanically. Don't touch the body, but I haven't got my inspiration yet. Alright, so listen, you heard Lipu. Don't touch the body. Let's take the engine transmission and rear dip out of it. Love it. Fall back. The crew has just three weeks to turn this turkey into a swan. This deadline is going to be a real challenge, especially because none of us have ever worked with Lee Poo before. From what I heard, Lee Poo doesn't write anything down. It's all inside his head. Buckle up. It's going to be bumpy. We can rip the engine out of the car. Pitbull's biggest advantage in the custom car business is he never throws anything away. Over the years in my business, I have collected containers full and shells full of used car parts. Most people say, what's all this junk? They don't know any better. It's not junk, it's gold. And he's got just the engine he wants already sitting on his shelves. That engine, that car, are made for each other. Hell yeah, come on in. All right, good. This LS2 V8 is famous for being used in the NASCAR Super Truck Series and will almost quadruple the power of the Camaro. Yeah. This engine is 400 horsepower. It's a monster. It's gonna make for a lot of fun, a lot of tires, smoke. It's gonna make that kid happy. I don't know about its insurance company, though. But an engine upgrade is only half the power battle. It's the transmission that magnifies and transfers all that horsepower to the car's wheels. We don't have the tranny, we don't have the drive shaft. So now I got this motor down off the shelf. I want to see how it fits in the car, see what problems we're going to have. But I need a transmission. For now, all we can do is wait. When Pitbull doesn't have a part on his own shelves, he heads to his buddy, who takes scrap even more seriously than he does. Junkyard Jimmy. I've got anything you want. Shocks, springs, nuts, bolts. Anything from a jet ski to a shark. Basketball courts. You want an ice cream cone? I got an ice cream cone. Try and buy it off me. I gotta get some parts and, you know, maybe we will find something inspirational and together, maybe the two of us can make something happen. Jimbo, what's up, man? We're looking to do a little work to this 81 Camaro. Spice it up, newing it up. Yeah. Man, I need transmission, suspension. Brakes. I need steering, brakes. I don't know what I got. Let's take a little walk, okay? All right, let's do this. Transmission, brakes. This is boring. I'm off. For Lipu, this American junkyard is an inspiration treasure trove. Oh. Spoilers, like a, like a wink. Nah, it's not gonna work. I'm looking something creative, something new, which has never been seen before. I wonder where Lee Poo is right now. <laughs> Who knows? Pitbull's hunt for a transmission may have struck gold. Oh, I see a couple of units on the floor there. What do you got? Jimmy's got exactly the automatic customer Bob asked for. This is an 06 fresh cutout. That's if Pitbull wants it. Yeah, no, I'm not doing an automatic. As much as I know it's easier, I just don't want to do it. I want to stick in that car. I got a problem with kids who don't drive stick. This whole world is not using your hands, everything automatic. And I don't know what Bob's gonna feel about me putting a 
shift stick in the car, but that's my plan. Unlike its predecessors, the 81 Camaro was sold with only an automatic transmission option. If Pitbull goes manual, we'll have to redesign the entire drivetrain of the car. You sure? Yeah, the kid doesn't drive stick. But to me, that car would be a sin to build without putting a stick in it. You're going to teach the guy to drive a stick on a car that you sell him? What, are you going to marry him? <laughs> Good luck. Less than 10% of transmissions in America are manual. Pitbull has just made his job nine times harder. I don't get it. He wants a transmission he can't find. His customer doesn't want it. His customer's son doesn't want it. I have an automatic transmission. Duh! You know I can get eight bucks for many kids. Yeah, that kid that wants that car for a grand. But the trip to Jimmy's may not have been a total write-off. You know, Look at guys, what I found! I'm at, I'm at 600. Dude! Look at what, what I found! Did you? What, what is this? Where did he this get This is... Where are you being, man? My eagle! My inspiration for the car! Look at the nose! Look at the bonnet. That's the front of my car. Yo, man, you can borrow the eagle. Oh, great. We'll give it back when we're done. I just need him to work with it. Do me a favor, though. Yeah. Can you not show the guys what you're working with? I don't want them to think that's a tool in your toolbox, which I know it is. Okay. I get it. Okay, but sure. But I think they're going to think you're a little strange with that. Sure, sure. Guys! Come on, look at this! What I got? That's my inspiration. So, here I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this car. I have no transmission, and in walks this crazy dude with a golden crow chicken. I don't know what it is. Look at that! Was he going to use this as a hood ornament? Wait, what does this have to do with the bill? Front of the car will look like a very angry, and eyebrows go like that, and very powerful. He starts balancing like Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi type stuff. The power of the eye, watching for prey. So much power and fast. <laughs> They don't see it because they don't have the eyes like me. They don't have the mind like me. They don't have the vision like me. Master mechanic Pitbull and world-renowned car designer Lipu are three days into their first affordable custom car job, a 1981 Camaro. Lee Pu has finally found his inspiration for the shape of the car. That's my inspiration. Look at that! But after turning down an automatic transmission, pit bulls come back to the shop empty-handed. All right, listen. The reality is, to take this car and do what we're going to do to it and leave an automatic in it, just not working for me. I, it doesn't sit well with me. The next thing we need done is the transmission. Without a transmission, the mechanics face delays on an already tight build schedule. We only got three weeks, and I can't put this in there without a transmission to know where I want to put it. It's stall in the field. We can't go any further. Transmission, transmission. That's all I hear at everybody. Everybody wants the easy way out with an automatic transmission. I'm going to give you stuff to do in this car. By the time you're done doing what I need done, I'll have you a transmission. This is major. I get it. I'm on the move, man. I'm going transmission fishing. Don't bring back another bird. With the mechanical work on hold till Pitbull delivers on the elusive manual transmission, Lipu has free reign to start his design. Body, body, 
एंड बॉडी एंड डिजाइन माई शो नाउ The guy brought in to be Leepu's right hand man is body work expert Robert. Robert, come on, dude. Oh, so right now I'm starting to. Oh, yeah. Robert has drawn a design for the car, <laughs> but Leepu's designs don't start with pen and paper. I smart my way. No. Then how do I know? I designed first and did draw it later. The only time you'll know when my design is done. Then how do I know to do the metal work? Just follow me. Come on. Every creation starts with destruction. Lights up and the bumper up. All right, got it. I was looking at Lee Poo's pictures. I've never seen cars like that before. Nobody in America builds stuff like this. I don't want to see this face. This is my build. Most of us draw things out, go up to the car, mock things up with stenciling. All this off. Okay. All this off. Take it all off. He doesn't do any of that. He did no. The bang the way is uh, like watching world faster. Empty canvas. Why gone? The Camaro is stripped down to bare bones. Leepu can start to design the eagle-inspired hood using the special tools he's brought with him from Bangladesh. body for different purpose square head round head this is a moment now i'll start curving the body lipu uses hammers to create dents in the sheet metal which in turn creates the design lines and shapes he wants to transfer to the car It fades right in the way you want it. Right in, right, right up to the vent panel. Right. Nice. Instead of an assembly line creating identical shapes, each line on Leepu's cars is handcrafted. Why well, haven't been working like this since I was a kid? So it's awesome to be working like this again. The hammer made the world. Soon, whether they like it or not, the whole crew's working the Leepu way. You do not see this anywhere except in this shop. Leepu just hit his rhythm with a hammer, and he's just banging away, and we're all just kind of like in the moment, banging our heads. Pretty much shaped up. Yeah. By the end of the day. The hood is just beginning to take shape. The following morning, the guys wake up to a snowstorm swirling through the streets. Another day in paradise. Pitbull's first in the shop, and after days of searching. He's finally delivered on the manual transmission the guys need to start the mechanical side of the build. Bam! The invisible trend. Well, now it's visible. This is everything we need to make that car a stick. I got this whole thing for thirteen hundred bucks. Everything. It's not bad. It's good. This T56 six-speed manual transmission has a massive 700 pound-foot of torque and is used in cars such as the Z06 Corvette, the Aston Martin, and the SRT10 Viper. Get this motor over here and get this thing bolted up. 
You know, we got to really get this thing cooked because when Lee Poo gets back, I know he's going to want the car down. It's going to really get in our way. Lee Poo arrives mid-blizzard, but ready for a full day's work. This is the most snow I have ever seen. We just closed down the whole city. It's like dry water. Yeah. I'm back in the shop. And I'm very happy. I uh, can I can work on my body. What's that? I was very really excited yesterday, and I came to the shop and see it's cars up on the ramp, no engine in. I can't work. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. Steve's promised the car back to Lipu at 8 a.m. the next morning. I'm off. We're gonna sit at home and uh, watch a movie. Are you guys good to go? Yeah, let yes, it down. Sir, down nice and slow. To get the car ready for Lipu, they must hook the manual transmission up to the V8 engine, then maneuver both into the Camaro's bay. Look at that, huh? Like a glove. And they were meant to be. All right, guys. Start bringing it down. That's it. Life. It's a critical moment. Neither transmission or engine were designed for the Camaro. There's no guarantee they'll fit. All right, you got six inches till the pan hits the cross member. Okay, we just met resistance there. Wow, look at that, huh? It's not gonna work. This pan's a major issue. The oil pan at the bottom of the engine has hit the Camaro's cross member. The motor's gotta come down about six inches and move back quite a bit. You know, probably almost a foot back is where we want it. It's gonna wind up cost me like another two days and I don't have any time to spare. To make his manual transmission work, Pitbull's team needs to solve the oil pan problem fast. All right, no problems, only solutions. How about we take the oil pan off and we cut that? We can cut the pan off and keep the flange, rebuild the pan. All right. Whoa. Oh. Did that hit you in the face? Uh, okay. Uh, where is that blood coming from? Okay. Uh, where is that blood coming from? Pitbull has had a serious accident in his shop. Did I just spring up and hit you? Yeah, let me get to the mirror and the water. Oh. When I saw the blood, I really, truly thought that his eye was either ruptured or not in his head or something, you know? How's the lid? Is it... it, it yeah, your lid to be stationed. Lucky, dude. This is the hood hinge here that hit Steve in the face. By crazy chance, Steve's leaning over this thing, and this thing released. Busted his eye right open. Pain, dude. I just need to go. Pitbull heads to the hospital, and work on the 81 Camaro grinds to a halt. The hit I took was so bad that if it was just maybe a centimeter or two to the left or right, I could be blind in the side right now. Ooh, lollipop, I do get one. Loopy is my favorite. You know what? It hurts like hell. I'm pissed off I'm losing all this time, but I am very happy that I have my eyeball in my head. I look at that. Throw in a towel, go home, get some rest. Back at the shop, Brian and Colin stay late into the night to get the car ready for Lipu in the morning. 
this is a large hurdle right here. This thing has been keeping the engine from getting in, so I want to get this pan off and get that new one on. The original bulky oil pan is being replaced with a slimmer one the guys have found on pit bull shelves. With the new pan, it's going to be really slim, so it'll give us a lot of room to get the engine down in the car, and uh, hopefully I can slide it back. We got what we needed. Come on in. You good. Stop. You watch the front, I'll watch the back. All right, cool. The oil pan fits. That's good. following morning after a long night shift the engine is in and the car is ready and waiting for Lipu. where is Lipu? that is the question mechanics is standing around i'm standing around nine o'clock comes and goes no Lipu. what am i gonna tell you he marches to the beat of his own drum you know I want you to beat my drum. The difference. Ten o'clock comes. No leapu. That's one thing we know where it is. All of a sudden, here it is. The door opens up. Hey, Steve. Morning. Good afternoon. You can't turn around and come in two hours late. Do you know how much work it was for just to get the engine, transmission, and rear in that car? Steve is the one who made it difficult. He chose the manual transmission. Dude, there are tons of people who can help you out with the mechanicals. Uh, and me, I'm the only guy in the whole world can sort out my You thing. weren't even here to work on it. We're working. Dude. You're floating around in space. No, no. The car is always up and down, and I'm, I'm doing my design work. It, it, it doesn't happen like that. Listen, at the end of the day, we got a hand bottle car. We could sit here and dick around all day, yelling and screaming all good, and we're not going to get anything done. Let me tell you one thing. Now... From today, you don't, not going to be around me. That's only me and my, my little team will work on the design work. That's and, my kingdom. And you can be the one to step in my shoes right and, there. and go That's lead my the kingdom. kingdom now. I am the empire. Right. I am the ruler, okay? I am taking my crown off and I'm passing it to you. No, I got my own crown. I don't take any else's crown. I'm putting my crown I got to the my side. own crown. I am the emperor. You know what? If it's going to get him working, let him be the emperor. That's fine. Clock is ticking. Get in there. Good luck. What are you guys doing? Oh, if you start a new kingdom, you have to establish your rule. I'm stopping my room. Libra's crazy. He comes in, he just starts hammering things. Sparks are flying, he's grinding, he's cutting. Things are going left and right. It's kind of crazy, but I really like the way he works. It's really good to be shaping my design. It's coming out. Lipu has been ruler of his new kingdom for a day. Yo, hey, Bob. Steve. How are you? And customer Bob pays an unexpected visit to the shop. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Are you just in the neighborhood? I'm just driving by and I'm curious to see what's going on. Bull crap. He's not just in the neighborhood. He wants to check on his car. Oh, boy. Not quite what I was expecting. This build is supposed to be a gift for my son for his college graduation. When I'm looking at this car, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's got no front, 
It's got no interior. It's got no brakes. It's got nothing. Wow. It's different. Yeah. Very different. Are you here now? I, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. I walk around the back end of this car. Where's the rest of the car? It's completely gone. It's missing the car wow. panels. Let me handle this. Let me handle this. You can't walk into the middle of a car build and expect it to look finished because before you can build a car, you got to take it all apart. You know what you're doing? Do you have an idea of what you're going to make this into? I, I do have an idea of everything, but you don't see it. I know. I can see what I'm doing. Bob's standing there, and he's upset. And what does he see? It looks like a stick in there. I want an automatic. Pitbull and Lee Boo have just 10 days left on their first custom car job, a 1981 Camaro. You know, I'm paying for this thing and I gotta see where we're at. Owner Bob has dropped by unannounced and discovered that Steve's put a stick shift in the car. My son wants an automatic. He doesn't drive a stick shift. I thought about that. And I thought about it long and hard. I told Steve, Steve, don't do that. He didn't ask for it. His son cannot drive it. If he's got a shift stick in his hand, he's not going to be doing any texting. I could be saving his life right now with that stick. I got a car in pieces. I got Bob's cage rattled. What could I do? We got some, some, something cooking I'd like to show you. Reach deep for the ace in the hole. Boom! Look at this. Nice. 400 horsepower. Three plus times what you had previously. Not only that, better fuel economy, smoother ride, nicer sound. I love the engine. Uh, I'm not sure about the transmission. Idea. If you don't like the car, when we're done with it, your money's back in your hand. Well, look, we'll give it a shot, but 10 days to go. Don't worry. I'll walk you out. You know, there's more riding on this than the 20 grand. This is my son's car. This car's got to be right. Here's Bob with his kid in college working his ass off to get by. He's gonna come home and see this car. And I'm worried. And I don't know what the outcome is gonna be at this point. Listen up. I want everybody to the Camaro right now. The next morning, Pitbull calls a crisis meeting. We need to do anything we can to make this car build go faster. Bob's deadline is 10 days but they must finish the design and mechanical work in six days so the car can be sent off to paint. It's an almost impossible task. I gotta get on the peak. This is very important. This is a theme of the, the whole car. Problem I, is, we gotta get on with this car as well. I say we unbolt the whole front clip and you can work on it over there. We can work on this over here. I'm happy. I don't want the rest of the car. I just want the whole front end. You got it. Let's do this. Okay. We're getting double the work done in half the time. We're gonna have Lee Poo doing what he needs to do over there in that area. Perfect. While we're getting more work done over here in the car. Well, Brian and his team get to work on the steering and brakes. I gotta get this rack in, try and get this deadline satisfied. Leepu finally has the freedom he needs to continue the eagle-shaped hood of the car. This will symbolize the eagle beak, uh, eagle face. This is my ultimate inspiration of the design, the whole car. Come on! Uh, 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 yeah. 
Lee Fu shapes body work by cutting and welding sheet metal together. Quick, fast, proper. When I start doing my design, I start with a single line. I cut the metal, shape it. Then I get my hammer, shape it up a little bit. That leads to another line. That's my thing. He just walks up, nonchalant, hits it with a grinder, eyeballs it a little bit, and it seems to work out. I gotta add piece and then gradually make going the shape like that. It's just like beat, like goes like that. Welded, panel bit it, shape it, one after the other, the whole thing forms. The peak of the peak is formed. Alexander, and there it is. <laughs> this is how I do it, right? While Lee Fu and Robert continue to work on the beak, Brian and the mechanical team install new brakes, fuel supply, and suspension. Got a lot of action going on here. We got to get this thing done. This is my style. We can put the gas tank back in the car and get gas to our engine. Make a nice smooth cross member to hold the transmission in. Affordable, custom. It's like a uh, caterpillar turning into a beautiful butterfly. Almost there. It's the day the car goes to the paint shop. The guy's last chance to take it on a test drive. After days of hard work, the Camaro is finally together again. Outside, it's sleeting in five degrees. The Camaro's heading out of the road with no lights, paint, or windshield. Here we go! Leeper thinks he's on like a circus float. When in actuality, they're looking at us like, what are these idiots doing in a car with no windshield with fishing gear on? Hey! What's that noise? I think we need a tow. Oh, no. Lee Fu and Pitbull are broken down on the road test of their first ever custom car job. My tow rope is in back of the dually. Somebody might have to get us. The engine keeps losing power. Uh-oh. Try it again. Try it again. Let me let it sit for a minute. Before calling a tow, Pitbull gives it one last go. 
I think we can maybe limp back to the shop. All right, let's go, we food. The guys drive down the road at a cautious 10 miles an hour. But even that can't save them from another problem. Hey, Steve. Yeah. I can see some smoke coming out of the rear end. Oh, man. The rear tire is smoking. But if they stop, the engine may not restart. They have to continue. Then they will get back to the shop. Cross your fingers, Lee Boo. Yep. At the shop, the guys go into damage control. As they go up the block, it loses power and it's only idle. And when I go to give gas, I have nothing. Smoke. Whoa! See, Lee Poo, I knew there wasn't enough ventilation here. Things overheating. Lee Poo's eagle beak design isn't letting enough air into the engine, causing it to overheat and shut down. Pretty hot, huh? Yeah, that thing's really hot. You're lucky you got it back here now, or that thing would have uh, got cooked. We're gonna have to do something about the beak. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put it out. All right. And I don't want to forget about that right rear wheel, which is smoking up and making some noise. There's another issue. Your quarter panel's rubbing on my tire there. No, 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 no. Your tire is wrong size. My, my design is right. The new quarter panel is rubbing against the Camaro's tire. Friction that could cause the whole tire to rip apart. You know, whatever it is, we gotta get it right. So let's put everything else to the side right now. Try to work out these two bugs, send it off for paint. Let's get it done and get it to the box show. Yeah. The Camaro is scheduled to be delivered to Bob in four days but now needs days worth of repairs before it can even go to paint. We gotta call Bob. There's no way it's happening. What if uh, he wants his money back? Then we, we own a Camaro. <laughs> call him, let's see what happens. Hey, Bob, Steve. Hi, Steve, how you doing? All right, we're here with Lee Poo. We're just going over your car. All right. Unfortunately, there was unforeseen issues which developed. Can, can you give us a week? I think we can nab this thing in a week's time, you know? Gotta get this thing done. You promised me you'd get it done. Work with me a little bit. He's home from school. And that he's going to be going back and not to give this to him before he leaves. I can give you five days. That's all I can give you. All right, look, we're going to make it happen. Get to work. All right. Hey. Bye. The phone call has bought them 24 hours to do all the repairs and get the car to the paint shop. And when problems need fast solutions, Brian takes a page out of Leepu's book. You know, they make fender rollers, fancy tools to kind of pull this stuff out of your way. We don't have one here, but we got a baseball bat. Good news is, I think I can just hammer this out and make room for the tire to fit without compromising Lee Poo's body worker design. Well, that's it. Made some room. Should make everybody happy. Lee Poo's design remains the same, and Steve's big wide tires stay under there. One job down. But the pressure is on Lipu to fix the overheating issue fast. Now here, we got air issue. So if there's air issue, the car will run. 
we got to get it done as quick as possible. Today, we have to finish this call. We have five days to get this car done. Can we make it? Yes. Can we make it with a nice paint job and have it run well? I don't know. After three weeks of work on the 1981 Camaro, Pitbull and Lee Boo are finally ready to deliver their first custom car job. This could be a really good day or it could be a really bad day. If they don't like that car, word gets around, we're not building good stuff, we could be done. They like that car and they tell everybody about it, well, we can be in business. 20 grand budget. What do we spend? 22? Ah. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. You know what? You know why we took this job on. That's the first car. But hey, what if Bob's son doesn't like the stick shift? They've asked customer Bob to meet them down at the waterfront where Bob's son is in for the surprise of his life. He doesn't even know why he's here. He thought he was here for his grandparents' uh, 60th anniversary party. Joseph, I have the surprise plan for you, for all the hard work that you've done, graduating college, and turning 21. So be ready. <laughs> You know, as we're headed down to the waterfront, I got one thing on my mind. Bob's son's face. That look on the face could make us a break us. What is that? Yeah. It goes nothing. Joseph, here it comes. Well, check this out. Is that the car? the same car. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think they like it. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Incredible. See hey, you. Bob. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Holy crap. Lee Poo. <laughs> You're the man. Dude. You're an artist. An artist. <laughs> Boo's hood adds a full three inches to the front of the car, creating a sleek, aerodynamic feel. Bumper and hood vents act as the Eagle's nostrils, ensuring the engine gets enough air. Oh my God! You said Eagle, you meant Eagle. Yeah. The exterior's a hit, but it's time to check out what's under the hood. It'll fly like an eagle as well. That's for sure. Pitbull has quadrupled the car's output to a massive 400 horsepower by installing an LS2 aluminum V8 engine. He's also added a four-wheel brake disc system and a fully adjustable suspension. And a T56 six-speed transmission manual. Manual, uh -oh. I told him to put an automatic in it, but he wanted to go with the six-speed. Got to learn sometime. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I think now is the most opportunistic time for you and I to jump in that car and feel it out. Let's do it. Have fun. Look at that. We go for a little zero to 60 test and see what this car's got. Stretch his legs a little bit. He's trying to watch this. There you go. Get that stopwatch going. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Five. 
five seconds, the car can fly. I think it was like 13 the last time we drove the car. Compared to when we started, it's like night and day. Nice, right? What do you think? It's sick yeah. it? Crazy. I love this car. The car came out fantastic. Those guys went to town on that thing. From where that car was when it started to where it is now, it was worth every penny. Well, Dad, it's your turn. So teach your boy to drive stick. Hey, thanks a lot. You Good ready? Stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right. Handle it. Rock and roll. Our first happy customer. I wish I could say the same about our bank account.